Welcome back to the Pigeon Forge. Today I will be making a Cooper. Hope you enjoy. Cooper is one of my favorite knives of all time. And I really, really like this one's shape. Like, we don't have one like this yet. So I figured let's make one. I'm probably going to make the handle a little bit longer. Yeah, maybe. I, I don't know. Still a little undecided on that. Once I actually make the knife on the side. But my material is going to be a 5160 leaf spring. And yeah, let's do this.
Over the years, I found it's easier to grind the Kukri with an angle grinder. The Kukri just has so many weird angles and it's a weird shape and it's just harder to grind on the 2x72. But the angle grinder is more mobile so it makes it easier to grind all those angles. So if you're looking to make a Kukri, my advice is to grind it with the angle grinder. All right, now that we're done grinding, let's quench it. You may be wondering why I'm putting furnace cement on the spine of the kukri. Well, I'm doing it because the clay keeps the spine soft and that helps with shock absorption. All right, now we just gotta wait for it to dry. Unfortunately, the camera died during the quench, but it was successful. And for those who were wondering, I did not get a good hormone. All
All right, so right now the tang is like this. A little extreme there, it's not that much like that, but um, handle here right now. And I'm gonna wrap this with cardboard, wrap around here and the sides. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill it with pewter. It's gonna make a nice bolster. Straight. You may be asking why I'm tapping the, the liquid pewter with that block. Well, it's knocking the air bubbles out, and there's a lot. Like, I didn't even get them all, as you'll see later. Now that we got the bolster completed, we're gonna work on the butt cap. Right now, it is, here would be the tang. That's not how it is. Something more like that. Then with the little shoulders for the bolster and then blade. All right, we, then we got the bolster right here. This is not to scale. Got the flare out. Got to draw the tang a little bit longer. So we got this piece of the tang sticking out. And what I'm gonna do is have some of this and I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, bend it to shape so it will be a little plate on the end of this. And yeah, let's do it. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. Got some tang sticking out and I wanna have a more secure connection. So what I'm gonna do is bend this around like that. And plus it'll look cool since it's the same color as the bolster. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so let's, let's just give ourselves some space to work with. Is that gonna be big enough? Yes it is.
So what I'm gonna do is grind grind this piece to fit this in here. And then I'm gonna pound on the butt cap that way. Alright, it's glued up. Now it's great. Alright, I'm gonna apply X wax to the handle. It's only 400 grit, like a rough 400 grit. Like we're gonna use it a lot and I wanna be able to hold on to it because we're gonna use it a lot. There it goes, dried a little bit. If it wasn't too old, it just dried a little bit. The handle looks pretty good. Put that back. What we mainly use kukris for is getting little saplings like this. This this kukri is like the perfect size to get this sapling. And what you do first is you bend it, then you strike at the point of most tension. It's obviously not the biggest kukri I got, so it's not gonna be the hardest hitter but it chopped pretty good. It's got good edge geometry. Yeah, after like three chops, I think. Trees down, and yeah. Well, this is it. I think it looks pretty cool. Not as cool as me though. I look pretty cool. But yeah, it's really comfortable. I'm really proud of this. For this being my first knife in like three months, I think it came out pretty good. Could have been better. Butt caps, not symmetrical. Probably should have peened it, but too late now. The area around the bolsters, a little messed up. I know eventually I'll polish all that off. And there's an air bubble in the pewter has a little it's not that deep but if i ground a little more into it it would just make it uneven and i ran out of pewter too so that's a reason why i didn't reattempt it because so i attempted it like four times but yeah it's pretty cool tell me you thought of it in the comments below i am personally a huge fan as you know and 
yeah, show me some support by hitting that like and subscribe button and I'll be making content, hopefully new content soon, but I can't make any promises. So my video schedule has been pretty sporadic over the last like year and a half, but I'm feeling passionate for it again. And the reason why I didn't make a knife for like three months or didn't upload a video for like three months was because of wrestling. That just like consumed like all my time and I was tired all the time and it was winter. So yeah. Now wrestling season's over though, so I'm going back into knife season. So yeah. This is gonna be pretty fun. Excited for future videos. Hope you are too. Alright. Till next one, bye.